Alright, welcome back to another Sir James D. DJ video. Uh, didn't feel like putting an intro in because I got a lot to cover today. What I'm doing is the 980X at 4.5 gigahertz, which is on the left, and I'm comparing that with the 980X stock, which is 3.33 gigahertz, on the right. And I'm going to do Cinebench, and then I'm going to do Adobe Media Encoder, and we'll see what kind of differences we get. As you can see, the one on the left at the 4.5 gigahertz is just blowing it away. I mean, look at that. It's done. Let's see what that finished at. 11.38 Cinebench points. And the one on the right is just finishing now. And that couldn't have gotten more than nine. Yeah. 8.57. Boy. Now, each of these tests are going to be with 12 gigabytes of RAM. And I had knocked those down to 1866. Because... I don't want to crank the VTT too high. Now here we are in Adobe Media Encoder. Now it's going to be really neat for my setup in the next couple videos. Um, I ended up selling my 5870s. They fetched a, one of them got 485 and one of them got 480. So <laughs> and I paid like what four. 25 for each of them, so I made a pretty good penny on those. And uh, yeah, we'll have to see what I get next. You know, there's a couple options out there. So you'll, get, you'll just have to stay tuned, I guess. The only thing drawing me back from a certain card is that I don't have a very good airflow case, but who knows? I might try to make it work. Who knows? You can see on the left, the 4.5 gigahertz is, it, look, it's just about done. I mean, obviously, it, it's spliced a little bit, but it's done. Look at it. Around 32 minutes. Thank God I didn't say seconds like last time. I think I said 52 seconds, and it's like, well, it's not that fast. So. Yeah, I just got finished watching that Dr. Drew Soberhaus. Man, that Tom Sizemore was a freaking nut. Although, Heidi Fleiss, I mean, it would be tempting to bash her head into a wall, I would say. <laughs> yep, one on the left is done. And the stock is still going and going and going. Now, I'm going to end up having a uh, an EVGA GTX 260 55 nanometer on eBay as well. I thought I could use it for physics, but it turns out I'm not going to be able to. I'm just going to use that 9800 GT for physics. So I'm going to be putting that on eBay, and I'll have the link in the more info section. So you can check that out. Again, I mean, I just start these biddings at $1 and let it go from there. So it's it's not like there's a, a reserve or anything like that. So if you want to get in on it, you know, it's cool. Yeah, see, stock finally finished. And, geez, again, right around 11 or, yeah, right around 11 minutes difference between the 980X at 4.5 gigahertz and at stock. BIOS screen, BIOS screen. Why is he at the BIOS screen? Well, I'll tell you, because I'm going to show you my settings for 4.5 gigahertz on the 980X. Um, some guys have told me, you know, you shouldn't go above 1.4 V-Core 
uh, and other guys have told me that's just fine. So, you know, if you have a differing opinion, you know, try not to leave too assaulting of a comment. Um, all but keyboard, I'm just going to go through these one at a time. And hard disk, obviously. And then I leave these two disabled. Okay, right now on the EVGA classified, I've got BIOS 49. I tried 51, and it wasn't all that good for me, honestly. As you can see, I've done this more than once. <laughs> and then I turn high definition audio off because of my sound card. Power management, put the HPET. Now I install it with 64 bit mode on. I install the operating system with it like that. Um, TCI Express, 4096 at the bottom there. Okay, I don't want to go too fast here. Now here's the good stuff. Okay, memory feature. Because I've got DDR3 2000, I do 212. And then I manually put in 88821. And some people go for 59. Here I do 74. And then 1T because I've only got three sticks in. When I've got six in, I do 2T and other settings as well. Without V droop. And V core, like I said. 1.425 VTT I go to 175 and these I leave on auto I've tried messing around with those I don't know it doesn't work all that well dim check with your manufacturer but most have it from 1.65 ICHV core. I found it gives me a lot better stability to manually put this at 1.1. It's default at 1.1, but 490, 1210. Auto, auto on those. I don't. Some people go with less on both of them. I just do auto and auto. And CPU feature. I don't use speed step, I use turbo. Don't use that, don't use that. Hyper threading on. And this is so important. A lot of people just leave this on auto, put it at 4.8. And 27, 167. So there's a 4.5 and 2000 for the RAM, yeah, the memory. And Encore. On the 920, I used to do uh, two times the ratio plus one, but on the 980X, I only do two times. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because the memory, the ratio is 212, I do 24X, okay? I know, I keep flipping you guys off. <laughs> Sorry about that. And turbo performance, I just leave that disabled. And that's it. I just save it to profile one. And you are ready to rock and roll. Talk later.